like me, and probably most of you, not to call you out, of course, but you would spend hours watching Netflix or scrolling from Instagram, especially during the pandemic. About a year ago, my day simply looked like this. I think that you would like it first, right? But at some point, I had enough, and I decided to change my habits. I felt like I was really wasting my life. I knew that I could do so much more. I could start a new hobby, learn something useful, or read a book that I always wanted to, but couldn't find time to do it. So, at the beginning, I wrote the book with tips on how to be more productive. And I spent over a month reading it, but it was definitely time well spent. I became fascinated with the topic of productivity. I tried a lot of methods, and today I'm going to introduce you to one of them, which I would say is actually a key to efficiency. Getting into the habit of writing things down. For some of you it may sound obvious, but let me explain how powerful of a habit it is. Let's begin from an example of a situation that I am sure most of you have experienced. You have a lot of exams, planned meetings, and housework to do in a short period of time. You reach the point where you just can't remember it all, so your job is get it down. Exactly. Why would you want to memorize all these tasks? Isn't it better to use your brain for thinking about cases rather than just remembering about them? You may spend your brain power on better things. Also, writing things down changes your perspective. Sometimes cases that seem meaningful do not look the same on paper. It also helps you eliminate new tasks that are not worth your time. By writing things down, you have a bird's eye view. You could easily decide which plans or projects are essential and which are pointless. Um, not only can you help you organize your thoughts, but free up your mind from worrying that you forget about something. So, what kind of things would we start writing down? Let me give you three goals for every day. You have no idea how it actually improves your productivity. When you wake up at the morning, you don't waste time for planning the day, because you know from which activity you have to start and what you have to do that day. Also, choosing three tasks instead of making a list of things to do is incomparably better option. It is more likely that you would complete these tasks and even if crucial things will come up that day, you won't be able to find all of it. Moreover, you won't be disappointed about the fact that you haven't managed to achieve these goals. The next thing is writing down dreams, hopes, ideas, thoughts, and goals. Ask yourself, how many times you have given an idea during traveling, eating breakfast, or watching a film? Just start by taking a writing part with you, and whenever an idea will come up, you will be able to notice, and it won't slip out of your mind. This is the kind of thing that billionaires, such as Bill Gates, or the creator of religion group Richard Branson, do. When inspiration calls, he had to capture it, as the later says. Noting this down may help you make first step steps to realize things that you have always wanted to do. Make a plan, set a deadline, and follow it through. What helps me a lot is jotting down distractions. For example, I had a problem with focusing on a book for more than a few minutes. So when I started noticing myself getting distracted by particular thoughts, feeling, or any other internal situation, I noted it down to not forget about it, but pay attention to it later. So whenever you sit down to some meaningful work, keep a small noting pad and next to the next to I guess some of you may have heard about the Zigarin effect, but let me introduce you to this. In 1927, Soviet psychologist and psychiatrist Roman Zegarnik discovered that our minds quickly forget completed tasks, but they have the tendency to interact us with tasks that we, with thoughts of tasks that we left incomplete. So, how can we use this knowledge to improve our productivity? You would never guess, but we could just write this down or make, make a plan and then stick to it. This way we free up and calm our minds. The next thing is reminders. For example, you can make a note 
to buy a milk or to make a phone call. And it will be even more effective if you write on a post-it and put it in a place where it's seat open. For example, a shopping list on a city note next to your fridge. Mm, just try to not make your house look like this. The habit that I wish I learned so in my life is noting down my accomplishments. And I'm not talking about the competition or reaching the top of Mount Everest. Writing down things that you have already been doing for a few days, weeks, or months, like reading a book or completing a project ahead of schedule, could give us a huge dose of motivation to keep going and also a sense of accomplishment and satisfaction that comes from being productive. So now you probably wonder how my life looks after implementing these tips. And no, I do not have time for practicing 50 copies now, but I do have more time, which I'm losing using like this. I read every day and try to at least spend an hour on some new interest. For example, recently I have started learning I also get more motivation to work out or just to go for a walk, something which I like before. I have learned how to organize my day and spend my brain power on things that I want for my time. Also, of course, you could choose to not write things down and use these tips, but after my speech, your choice will be definitely more thoughtful. Thank you.